I think you should limit it, especially in our Indian context. So we're not talking an in international context, but in an Indian context, the pandemic is raging right now. And who will get an infection? We have no idea. And if you get an infection, the options are very limited at this point. There are several challenges that we're facing in terms of admissions, drugs, oxygen, manpower. Uh, and it varies in different states and different cities at this point. But don't put yourself in a situation, let's say you travel somewhere into an exotic place, it's a really nice place, but they don't even have medical facilities there. So it will be a challenge. Um, if you fall sick, what will you do there? You don't have backups, you don't have family and social support systems to help you in those meetings. So in, in that situation, so I would really, really say, try first of all, to defer those uh, travels. I had a patient one time, um, sometime back, who was planning on going to Kashmir. He had booked that months in advance. It was going to be a special occasion for everybody to congregate and then travel. And they had hotels, flights. It's a big deal. Several lakhs worth of uh, transaction was involved. But I said, it is a very risky transaction at this point. Why do you want to put you know, everybody through that? traveling, staying together, meals, everything is very, very risky. So I advised against it and he actually took it. So and do it at other times, you know, a couple months back, I would have given a different uh, advice. But right now, this is not safe. Let's wait until the second wave kind of comes down. There are more safety, there are more resources available. Um, then I think uh, more options for travel will be there. Mm -hmm.